Welcome back to the bi-weekly Tuesday Tech Tip from the Kane County ROE. My name is Phil Morris, Director of Operations and Technology. This past week, someone in front of me at the store forgot their wallet in the car, and I asked them if they had Apple Wallet set up on their iPhone. They said, no, they didn't know how to get it set up. So this tech tip is about getting started with Apple or Google Wallet on your smartphone. This tip will focus on the iPhone version with instructions for Google Wallet on Android phones in the comment section. Every iPhone comes with the Wallet app. To get started, go to Settings, Wallet, and Apple Pay, and then click on Add Card. Click Debit or Credit Card and follow the prompts to add that card. It will have you put a card in the camera window to read the information. You may end up entering some of the information yourself, like the security code from the back. Once completed, it will take a moment while your credit card company verifies and activates it on your phone. Now, you may ask, is this safe? Yes, very safe. It actually creates a different card number that is linked and encrypted. I don't have all my cards in my wallet, but I do have a couple that I regularly use. When it's time to make a purchase, just double tap the button on the right side of your phone to have your wallet pop up. Select the card you would like to pay with, and then put it close to the credit card reader. It will then make the purchase complete. Most businesses now support the use of these mobile payments for quick and easy transactions. There are many other options you could add to your wallet, from insurance cards, loyalty cards like Starbucks, tickets to concerts or games, and boarding passes for flights. Usually you'll receive a confirmation email from the service with a button that reads Add to Wallet, which indicates you can automatically add this card. I've also linked my wallet to my Apple Watch. To set that up, go to the Watch app on your iPhone and choose Wallet and Apple Pay. You can select which cards are available on your watch. After that, you just double tap on the crown in your watch and wave your wrist by the payment device. This has come in handy in an emergency when I forgot my wallet and phone. I encourage you to give this a try with one card. It's a technology I've been using for years and I can confirm it's safe and effective. Legislation was also just passed in Illinois to allow for a digital driver's license in Apple Wallet. At that point, I'm not sure that I'll even need to carry a physical wallet. There will be links in the comment section for direct assistance. And as always, please take time to like and share this tip with your networks. We appreciate all your support.